Okay, guys, it's technically day two on our um, renovation here of our camper. Uh, we got a little bit more tore out. Uh, I didn't put on video yet. Um, we got the back wall really torn down. That's uh, one of the big things I was kind of worried about, but it, it wasn't too bad getting that piece taken off. Um, but I'll show you that here in a second. And we just have the... Um, insulation we have the insulation to take off and then once the insulation's off uh, it should be just the aluminum f siding so I'm gonna show you that now all right so this is the part I was talking about um, we took that curved panel off there and we took some more of the ceiling off got that taken out um, so she's gonna Take all this insulating insulation out. And when you do this, especially when it's above you, it's good to wear a mask like what she has on, like one of those little dust masks, because little particles float in there and you don't want to really breathe that in. There you go. You got the nice shiny aluminum siding on it. And that wiring right there, I think, is to the um, the lights outside, the brake lights and stuff. So now, if we need to do any work on those, they're right there. When we have our expert in here, he can tell us what we need, what we don't need. And another thing we realized while we were working on this was up here. Where we've seen all these nails coming through, what we didn't realize is when we got on this side over here, what those nails were is it was a board that was there, but because it had leaked, it had rotted that wood away and it wasn't even there anymore. So that's why it was there. And I think that wood helps those screws pull it, you know, closer and have more of a seal to it. So we're gonna have to get up there and fix that. Um, that's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but like I said, you never know what you're getting into until you really start digging into, you know, the bare bones of the the camper itself. So we're just now really seeing seeing where we're really at. Um, there's definitely no turning back now, so we're in it to win it. As you can tell, we no longer have cabinets up here. We ended up um, finding the leak up in here it's real bad up in there um, tore the cabinet out took the whole cabinet out as you can see it's a mess in here right now uh, it's got to get a whole lot worse before it can get any better so um, and just kind of taking it bit by bit we're gonna be knocking this wall down next and over here we're gonna be finishing this wall here and sometime tonight I'd like to get the shower knocked out I'm not sure about the shower yet though. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go take a real quick break. Um, just kinda cool off, go up in the office, chill. And we'll finish up when we come back. All right guys, so over here by the front door where you come in, we had a leak up here. We started tearing through this and really looking. It's pretty bad up here. As you can see, it's real I mean that wood is just rotting away. It's real. It was real wet. A lot of water came out of this when we tore this away. So this is going to be another spot we have to take care of. Um, so we're getting ready to start tearing through this wall right here. She started a little bit, so we're going to get in this. See what that looks like.
Okay guys, we're back at the camper again. I think this is like technically day three. Um, we didn't do any more inside the, the camper, but you can see behind me it's, you know, gutted out for the most part. We still got the ceiling to do up there as you can see. Um, but what we're actually working on right now is we're, you know, putting paint thinner and actually it's paint stripper. We're putting paint stripper on the wall. We're putting paint stripper on the outside of the camper and I'll take you outside and show you what that looks like right now. We're scraping it all down. It's it's a slow process, but um, it's coming along pretty good. So uh, I'll show you what that looks like now. So how this works, you basically just put it on the, you know, the paint and let it set for at least 15 minutes and you'll see it starts to bubble up before you scrape it. And uh, once it bubbles up, that's when you know you can start scraping it just comes off. I mean, if it's on there good enough, it just comes off like it's nothing. But that spot right there is what it looks like when it bubbles up and then it just scrapes right off. Actually looks really cool seeing the shiny outside of it. Got a little bit over there. I got the screen's the hardest to come off, so we're gonna really work on that. But the white the white's not gonna be much of a problem. As you can see it's just that's coming right off. Mm -hmm. 